Put. Me. On. <laughs> Ooh, Richard, Richard is one of those receivers where you can say like he's a compact receiver. I compare him to Ty, uh, T.Y. Hilton. Elusive, sleek, sleek. You know, kid walk around about 5'10", lean. And ball in hand, he'll make you miss. Also, he got scary speed, so meaning he look like y'all even, but he's not, he'll leave you. With my game, I'm, I'm, I'm fast. I'm a, a great teammate. I know how to move around, get people open, you know. So, uh, in between the ability to be elusive, make people miss the very sneaky slip loose, uh, small cracks, and he, and he breaks all individual tackles. So, he's definitely a big time game guy. Like I say, like I was talking about leadership, he has those qualities towards the teammates, he letting them know. He is not about him, it's more about the team. Like, it's a team goal. Well, my goals are win state and lead my team to a, a, a finish, you know? Do what we do better than what we did last year. That's my goal. We could throw them a bubble and they go 60 yards, and we also seen him run down the field 60 yards and go up top like he's a 6'3 wide receiver. So he definitely, for his size, in today's time in the spread offense, he's an ideal wide receiver um, in terms of playmaking and finish. So he's a special kid. And he made the plays that an undersized guy like make if he was Megatron. My name is Richard Danger, and it's my time. Florida. Um, I played for Goose Park and Florida City Park. Um, I went to high school at St. Brandon, then I transferred to Homestead. And I, I actually stayed in Homestead, around the corner. So this, I, I'm from down south. You got three more, man. You got three more. Philip Simpson, uh, head football coach. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's guys like him we, we leaning on. You know, I mean, leading this team from him is, is not only on the field and his playmaking ability, but uh, just his leadership qualities, uh, getting that fire out of him and getting him to, to kind of, you know, pave the way and, and everybody get behind and follow. I mean, we want to be a great team. I got to get behind those guys. I got to get behind them and I got to let them make the way. And I'm there to take every step with them. But at the end of the day, this is day team. And day meaning uh, Richard and a few other seniors and, uh, you know, some underclassmen we rely on. But um, you know, getting the season started and, uh, and, and going, going to battle with a guy like Richard who put in the hard work, who had adversity in life, and he understands what trials and tribulations mean, um, that kid plays with emotions and passion. He plays with passion. He plays with a desire to win. Um, he, he, he's, he's very uh, connected to his feelings, and he, and, uh, he channels in the right way. So it's definitely a, a satisfying to play behind him. His coaching method, he's great. Like, he he know what he's doing. He's not gonna lead us wrong, he's not gonna tell us wrong. He gonna tell us right. He keep it real with us. He like he real. My goals and expectations for Richard Dangers, first and foremost, I want to finish the season healthy, um, be a leader, be more of a leader towards the team and the underclassmen so they can follow his role. But my expectation of him to make all day, make all day again, and help lead us to a state championship. Hey man, the lock down. He, he know what he talking about. He, he tell me the right thing, and we both, the connection, it's great. Ooh, Richard, Richard is one of those receivers where you can say like he's a compact receiver. I compare him to Ty, uh, 
T.Y. Hilton. Now he's like a T.Y. Hilton. Ball in hand, he'll make you miss. Also, he got scary speed, so meaning it look like y'all even, but he's not. He'll leave you. And he make the plays that an undersized guy like make if he was Megatron. Elusive, sleek, sleek. You know, kid walk around about 5'10", lean. Um, what people don't know, he's actually really strong in the weight room. I mean, the kid is benching 250. Uh, he's power cleaning 245, and he squat 430. So, I mean, he's a pretty strong kid to be 165 pounds. So, uh, uh, in between his ability to be elusive, make people miss, he's very sleek. He slipped through uh, small cracks, and he, and he breaks all individual tackles. So, he's definitely a big-time game guy. Um, we could throw him a bubble and he'll go 60 yards, and we also seen him run down the field 60 yards and go up top like if he's a 6'3 wide receiver. So he definitely, for his size in today's time in the spread offense, he's an ideal wide receiver um, in terms of playmaking ability. So he, he's a special kid. With my game, I'm, I'm, I'm fast. I'm a, um, a great teammate. I know how to move around, get people open, you know, overall. It's a pleasure, it's an honor. You know, it's, it's never about me. We're here for the kids. You know, I, like I tell the coaches all the time, we're in the business to serve. We're in the business to uh, help kids be successful. We're not, we're not here to be football coaches. If we're here just to be a football coach, you know, you're, you're at the wrong school. You know, we, we're in the business of helping. Um, it feels good. It feels good. That just let me know as a coach I got to take it up another notch because, you know, I put the, the kids, the, the kids help me be a better coach. So coaching this type of kid like Richard Dungeon made me a better coach. And so to have a kid like that that got the opportunity to to uh, represent the name on the front of his jersey, represent the name eventually on the back of his jersey, um, his ability to play, us having a, a blessing to, 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 you know, have fun with the kid because outside of football, he's a great individual. He's a great kid, um, always with a good smile on his face, really good grades, take care of the building. So, you know, it's, it's for us. It's a blessing. We lucky, and we we truly appreciate um, you know everything we're getting out of that out of that young man. Like I say, like I was talking about leadership, he has those qualities towards his teammates. He letting them know he it's not about him. It's more about the team. Like it's a team goal. It been games where we can't throw the ball and we just got to run block all day, and he he takes that with pride. I feel like it's gonna be a success. We're gonna shock the world. Positive, uh, healthy. Um, constructive criticism. He don't have a problem with talking to his friends and telling them what they need to hear. Um, and, and the beauty about it is he's not the one to take things light. He works hard. He's here every day. He put in the work. So when he speaks, it's coming from a healthy place because he's putting that same effort in, if not more. So um, amongst his teammates, he's a great individual. He's supportive. He pushed guys. He pushed himself. And, 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 and he has a great rapport with his receiver coach. He got a great rapport with myself. He comes talk to us. He gives us a heat check on what's going on with the guys. He, he's a great, great locker room at Temple University getting a very special kid. Goals for Richard Dandridge. Expectations is a... Uh, I mean, for one, uh, team first. You know, he, he he's he's a young man that's graduating in December. He'll be on campus in January. So everything about him, uh, obviously, uh, getting him his individual accolades and getting him to go on is important. But at the same time, preparing him for the next level. You know, he's out of here in January. That kid got four or five months left in Miami. So uh, just for him, individually, is putting him in space and putting him in best position. He's going to be one of the best players on the field every time we play a game. So... Uh, just getting getting the butter from the duck per se out of him, and getting him to play at a high level is something that's uh, very important that that we want out of him. And then uh, you know on the flip side is, is trying to teach him how to be a better man, how to be a better individual, how to be a, a great leader. So when he go off to school in January, um, you know we can be proud of the things that he do in Philadelphia. It was crazy. We got the best offense I feel in Dade County, and the best skills outside. But uh, I know ball in hand, he make you miss it. He gonna do what he got to do. So. He have a good number of touchdowns. I'm saying eight to twelve in the regular season. We got a lot of guys, man. We got some guys move the ball around, but you know I think we, our coaches do a, a heck of a job. Um, uh, Coach Pat, Coach Hearn, uh, Coach Rudy, and those guys. Coach Mike, they do a heck of a job on that side of the ball of facilitating the ball and getting around. So, I mean, I, you know, how many touchdowns? I, you know, it's hard to say, but uh, you know. If, if 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 we play in a 15 game season and my man getting 15 touchdowns, he's in the touchdown win at least once a game. So anything uh, more than that, 
I'll take it. But like I say, with Richard, man, it's, it's, it's more than that. that. That kid take pride in blocking. He take pride in scoring touchdowns. He take pride in, 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 in converting third downs. Um, you know, he, he, he's, a, he's a tough uh, SOB. So, uh, you know, uh, high expectations for Richard Daniels. Well, I thought over more than 10, better than all my stats, better than what I did last year. So if I had I, I had 1,000 last year, I'm going for two bands. I had 10 touchdowns, I'm going for 15. We're doing better than what we did last year. We get better every year, every day. Hey, there you have it. Don't sleep on this kid right here. Temple is getting a real good athlete, man. He's, he's going to lead the Homestead Broncos to victory, man. Hey, we got to go. But before we leave, and for those of y'all back home, let them know what we got to do, man. Fight, grind, shine, like, and subscribe. That's it.